guys, it's me Shay and I'm here with my mom. Hi! And today I'll be showing you three easy or somewhat easy hairstyles that um, we can do. And also a lot of you guys requested this. So yeah, let's get on to the video. Alright, so the first thing I will be doing is two buns, which I did in my last video. Or not my last video, I had it in my Walmart outfit video, which I'll link up if you guys want to watch that. But um, a lot of you guys requested how to do that, like many people. The first thing I do is uh, part it. You don't have to have one of these. This is just helpful. Um, but part it so there's somewhat even amount on both sides. So there are two ways you can do it. You can just like kind of part it diagonally if you part your hair to the side, or you can take a section in the front, like uh, that you want to part to the side, like, yeah. like that or something. Like take that much and make sure it stays here and then you can brush the rest of this back and then part it in the middle or part it down the middle so it, it'll uh, be even on each side. Just put one side just into something so I can do the other side and it doesn't interfere. <laughs> so, um, just start off and just pull it up to about as high as I want. I would like it and brush through it and make sure it's smooth. I take some pieces on the side and kind of find like you're doing really high like pigtail sort of things and then you twist it. <laughs> Your hair is so thin. <laughs> it's like little tiny buns. I know. Then you make it into a little bun. A bigger bun if it's Shay's hair. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, and it's really cool, honestly, but it's just like a little blue. <laughs> so then you kind of like spread it out. And you grab some bobby pins so it's not so sticky uppy. <laughs> it doesn't stick up as much. So I have a sticky bobby pin. So then you just bobby pin it down. And then also you can make the front have um, a little more volume so it doesn't look quite as flat. So, so there's one bun. And then you pretty much just repeat on the other side. It's a lot easier on other people. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's a lot easier on other people. Or at least for me it is. But once you like get the hang of it, you can figure it out yourself. I believe in you guys. <laughs> but yeah, you know, to start with, you can do it on your friends. <laughs> or your mom. Yeah, or your mom. I do the same thing on this side where I get a few hairs. they make it look like it's super casual and then your hair is just falling down but everything's actually perfectly placed and deliberate. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, that's true. laughs> it's like, oh, I just threw this little bun up. But then actually there's like 50 bobby pins and perfectly placed little wispies. Okay, so then uh, you can just like kind of bobby pin it down. It's not sticking up quite as much. And kind of also make sure it's like even on her head the other one. And then again, sometimes you get this section of the hair that will just kind of fall. So you need to bobby pin it up. And um, sometimes you need like a million bobby pins, so that's just how it goes. Alright, so I think that's the first look. So this next one I'll be teaching is a messy bun. Most of you probably know how I do it, but I don't know. Thought I'd just show you how I do mine on mom. So first, you're gonna just brush the hair, and make sure it's all or not tangled. So, and then you're gonna 
put it up like you're putting up a high ponytail. But once you got it to about the height you want it, you can pull some side hairs down just uh, around your face. Sometimes the baby hairs just won't cooperate, so you're going to have to probably pin them up once you've got the nice So once you've got it up to about as high as you would like it, make sure you've got uh, the sides and everything smooth. And you're going to twist it, go around, like that, and then you're just going to take your hair in. And at first you'll have a tiny little baby bun, and then you can, you just kind of got to mess it up pretty much. Also make sure it's on the like in the middle of your head because sometimes I've noticed that it'll like slip up to the side of my head to secure it. You can grab some bobby pins again and just um, drop them. <laughs> make sure it's in place how you like it. So this is the messy bun. Alright, so the next thing I'll be doing is two Dutch braids, which I kind of do a lot on school days when I'm just kind of feeling like I don't really want to do much with my hair. So, although the one thing is your arms do get sore. Like by the end you're like, oh my god, it's so sore, but it's okay. What I did first was I again did the thing where I parted a section to the side and then parted the rest down the middle. Like I did last time, I'm going to take the other section and just put it into a ponytail or something just so it's out of the way of the other one. Okay, so first off you're going to take a little section, section it into three parts and then go with the middle one, you go over the one on your left. <laughs> and then you go again with the middle one over the one on your right. And then you add hair to the left one. And then the middle one goes over that. And then you add hair to your right one. The middle hair goes over that. Add hair. And Again. And then you just continue to do that all the way down. Oh, and again, uh, just I'm going to take out a few pieces to just frame the face, sort of. Depending on how small of sections you get to add to the braid, uh, the more like tighter or Hit, like braid there will be I guess and the less you add the bigger and loose it'll look so I'm kind of doing it in the middle now that we're at the end you just go under with your right side under with your left side under 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 Continue to do that until you get to however far down you like to go. I like to go leave about like that much. Then you put a hairband in. And then you pull that hairband down uh, like half an inch. And then you just pull on the hair to kind of give it texture. And then you kind of just pull on the sides of the hair to give it texture and everything. So then, uh, that is one braid.
then now I'll show you how to do the other side. The nice thing about this look is that you don't have to have a bunch of bobby pins or anything. It's just hair. So thank you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should put that in. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And let me know which one was your favorite hairstyle in the poll on either side. I don't remember which side it's on. And also in the comments. And if you want to, I post weekly kind of random videos, but singing videos every other week. So yeah, I love you guys so much. And you're welcome to subscribe if you want. But I love you. Bye. <laughs> You're so insane. That's really insane. <laughs> oh, also? <laughs> That's it.